Hey guys, Armageddon here. Gonna talk about the Heckler & Koch G28 semi-automatic sniper system today. However, I wanted to kick things off with the Rhino Metals Ironwork Series safe, because this thing is huge. I just added it to my secure kind of gun studio, kind of upgrading my gun room into something where I can do these videos a little better now that they're, you know, I'm kind of starting to put more time into my YouTube. And uh, holy man, this gun safe is kind of like revolutionizing my uh, my system here so um really cool swing out rack system patented by rhino metals i, I love it because i can get 13 guns on here swing it right out and still get access to all the stuff in the back which uh well there she is the g28 we're gonna do a quick video on this guy today you can check out i'll talk a bit more about some of the other guns in the full version of the video ah uh, excuse me here while i just kind of get this thing set up there we go Okay, so I'll talk more about everything else that's in here. At a later date, a later video, I'll do a full collection video. I talk about a little more of stuff in the back in the full version of the overview, which I either posted, you know, right before this video or I will post later the same week that I posted this video. But man, this thing, like, what a beast. Six feet tall, uh, 56 inches wide, which is like four foot eight and 27 inches deep, it's just a tank. And if you've been following me on Instagram, I've been posting the last few days about getting it in here because that was, well, it was a much heavier task than I, you know, it wasn't actually as bad as you thought. This thing weighs 1,250 pounds and literally four guys and a dolly got it all in here, wheeled it into place, lagged it down, she did it all in, so it's all flush fit. fit. It's awesome, but man, what a beast. So, so good. I'll do a full video on that later, but, uh, now we're talking about the G28. This is supposed to be a quick video. I already did a super long video, which is like 20 minutes long, talking really in depth about this thing. So I'm not gonna do that today. We're just gonna do a real quick one. Quick, shorty video on this guy. This is the Harris bipod that came with it, but it's junk. So we don't even need to worry about that. I tossed it and we'll be replacing it with something else really quickly. This is a fake suppressor. I'm unfortunately in Canada. I don't know, Canada's a great country, but we got some messed up gun laws and I can't have a real suppressor. So this guy is fake. Uh, I'll talk, I'll talk more about that in the full, in the full video as to why I actually have it. But man, this thing, this thing is super duper uh, funny looking, but I love it. It's a beautiful boat anchor weighing in, as you see here at about 16 pounds, the optics set up like Mount Schmittenbender and aim point. All that together is about three pounds. The gun itself is about 13, which is nuts for an AR-10 platform that shoots 7.62 with 51, 7.62 NATO. Same as 308, so this gun is specifically chambered in 7.62 NATO, and it's got a fluted chamber, which is not super nice uh, for 308 brass. It makes ejecting this stuff really easy, really nice. When you, when you get the brass ejected out, it's all like grooved up because you can actually see all the grooves in it uh, from the chamber. But uh, yeah, it hard, it's hard extraction for 308 because it's in there tight and it kind of form fits to it and it's not, not great. But the G28 is a military marked gun. Besides Germany, the uh, Bundeswehr uses them. The German military is a semi-automatic sniping system. South Korea uses them. And the Americans recently signed over a big contract for them as well. Uh, 3,643 rifles, something like that, totaling $44.5 million dollars. Pretty crazy. And those guns were a little bit different though. They they dropped the weight quite drastically by getting rid of the steel upper receiver because this is a steel upper receiver and that adds a ton of weight to the system. I think they dropped like a pound or two pounds by swapping that out for an aluminum alloy upper. So really like durability to the moon and back, but they don't necessarily need that. So they dropped that, they dropped this heavy, you know, full rail for a Geisley M-Lock system. And then they went with a uh, with a OSS suppressor systems flow through suppressor for it, which is pretty slick. I think they also went with a smaller optic. Um, I'm blanking offhand what it is. I think it was a Schmidt Bender Ultra Short though. So uh, this is this is a rocking gun. It's super smooth action. I love it. Here, I'll toss my camera up in the uh, rig. I apologize again the residentialness of my lighting. It's pretty, pretty not good at the moment. I'm getting better lighting in real quick though. So 
it'll uh, this will be good going forward. But the action is just super slick, super smooth. I really, really do enjoy that. Big enlarged bolt catch over here. The magazines are not P mags. P mags do not work in this gun. For example, these uh, they do not fit. They're way too small. This is like basically an oversized G36 mag minus the little nubs. And it's, it's awesome though, it's super high quality, but proprietary and it's HK, so it's super expensive. And this is a 20 rounder, pin to five because I'm Canadian and I'm not looking to break the law and get raided by police. So I have my mags are all legal. Here's an actual five rounder, a little more flush fit. And then you guys, you can get these, these base plates, you can get black base plates or these, um, uh, RAL 8000. There's a little button you depress here. You can slide them right off, swap out the color. Uh, but uh, really, really slick magazines. Honestly, I really like them. Um, and the fact that they're, they're too expensive. Uh, really cool telescopic stock. And you'll notice the cheek piece stays put. That's kind of cool. This is adjustable for, for cheek weld. Unfortunately, this is a big oversized buffer. It doesn't fit standard AR stuff, so you can't swap it out to just any AR stock. Kind of unfortunate, but yeah, it is what it is. It's HK. You kind of just gotta play by their rules for the most part. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna play with their stuff, it's not a very ambidextrous gun. You've only got the bolt release on the one side. Sorry, the mag release. You've only got the bolt release on the one side. Um, the new MR three hundred eight A three system and the HK four seventeen A two system. They've they've gone ambi. They've gone to an ambidextrous bolt release system up here as, as well as a really nice uh, ambi mag release. But again, this is the traditional system. This doesn't have it. I do like this nice rounded, big oversized bolt or mag release. It is quite nice. Ambi safeties. Those are cool too. So, but you know what? That's that's the that's the gun. Uh, that's the gun. Really quickly. I don't want to keep this. I don't get this video any longer. So I'm gonna cut it here. If you guys found this at all interesting. Please check out the full video, which is either posted or will be posted very soon. I also do a full shooting video. That's a lot of fun, honestly. Uh, this gun performed really well out of the box. I literally opened this gun up, took it to the range, threw some uh, some oil in it, and and ran it, and that was it. And those were the, the first 15 or 20 rounds I put through the gun, all the rounds you see in that video. So go check that out again. That'll be up uploaded within a couple days of this video if it isn't already live. And I'll do a full disassembly video as well. I'll probably not do it today. I'll do it when I got light better lighting so I can show you things more more closely. But uh, yeah, um, that'll be out as well. You can see the internals of the gun, how easily it take, comes apart. It's basically an AR-10, honestly, but it is proprietary. There's some other stuff going on in there. So I will show that to you. I'll pop the handguard off, show you guys the piston system. Uh, it's basically based on the same system the 416 is based on and the G36 that pioneered it. It's actually really an old AR-18 or AR-180 system, but Huh, a super cool gun. Anyways, thanks guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in, checking my channel. Please uh, like, subscribe, comment. I will most likely comment back unless you're a dick and you're rude, in which case I'll probably just kind of flame you out a little bit. Um, but honestly, I'm looking to get better at my channel as well as it's continuing to grow. So if you've got any constructive feedback for me, uh, please leave it. I'm always looking to get better. Again, the lighting system, definitely gonna have better lighting here real quick. I've already got, I'm just gonna get that installed and hopefully a nice little gun wall system for, for the walls as well, so I can get uh, do my videos a little more, a little more uh, while engaging and stuff. So that's it. Again, you wanna see this gun being shot, I got a video for that. If you wanna see this gun being taken apart, I'll have a video for that, and a longer overview as well. If you wanted to show me talk about more details of this gun that weren't covered in this video. Thanks a ton, guys. Catch you next time, Armour Gun out.